The dream weaver. The sun was setting over the small town of Millfield, casting a warm orange glow over the streets. As the last of the day's shoppers made their way home, a young woman named Lily walked down Main Street, her eyes scanning the shop windows. She had lived in Millfield her whole life, and she loved the town's familiar sights and sounds. But tonight, something was different. As she turned the corner onto Elm Street, she saw a strange figure standing in the middle of the road. It was tall and thin, with long, spindly arms and legs, and a face that was twisted into a grotesque grin. Lily froze, her heart pounding. Was this some kind of monster? The figure took a step toward her, and Lily's fear turned to anger. She wasn't going to let some creature from a nightmare scare her in her own town. She took her deep breath and shouted, Who are you here? What do you want? The figure stopped and looked at her, its grin growing wider. I am the dream weaver, it said in a voice like a creaky door, and I have come to collect your dreams from the core heart. Lily's anger turned to confusion. My dreams. What do you mean? The dream weaver reached out its bony fingers toward her head. You have the most wonderful dreams, Lily, it said. I have been watching you for a long time, and I want them for myself. Lily took a step back, her mind racing. She couldn't let this creature steal her dreams. But what could she do? She had heard stories of the dream weaver from her grandmother, who had told her that the dream weaver was a creature that roamed the night, stealing people's dreams and leaving them with nothing but nightmares. She knew she had to act fast, before it was too late. She closed her eyes and imagined the most wonderful dream she could think of, a beautiful garden filled with flowers and butterflies, a place where she was free to explore and be happy. And she projected that dream with all her might. Suddenly, she felt a strange sensation, as if her dream was being pulled out of her head. She opened her eyes and saw the dream weaver with its arms stretched out, holding a small, glowing orb that looked like it was made of starlight. It was her dream. Lily knew she had to get her dream back. She had to be brave and strong. She took a deep breath and ran towards the dream weaver, shouting at the top of her lungs. The dream weaver turned around and looked at her, surprised. Lily reached out and grabbed the orb, pulling it out of the dream weaver's hands. The dream weaver let out a deafening scream, and before Lily knew what was happening, it vanished into thin air. She looked at the orb and saw that her dream was back where it belonged. She smiled, knowing that she had defeated the dream weaver and that her dreams were safe. Feeling victorious, she walked back home with a warm feeling in her heart, knowing that from that day on, she would be able to dream without any fear. She knew that the dream weaver would never be able to steal her dreams again, because she had learned to protect them. From that day on, Lily became known as the protector of dreams in her town. People would come to her for help and advice when they were having trouble with their dreams. She taught them how to project their own dreams and how to defend them from the dream weaver. And so, the small town of Millfield became a place where people could sleep peacefully and dream without fear, all thanks to Lily's bravery and determination. As the years passed, Lily's reputation as the protector of dreams grew, and she became a respected member of the community. She even started a small business, where she would help people create their own beautiful dreams and teach them how to protect them. One day, a young boy came to her, he was having trouble sleeping because he was constantly haunted by nightmares. Lily listened carefully to his story and understood that the boy was going through a tough time in his life. She knew that she could help him overcome his nightmares and find peace. She sat down with the boy and taught him how to project his own dream, a dream of a peaceful place where he could feel safe and protected. She taught him how to defend his dream from the dream weaver, and how to keep his nightmares at bay. The boy was amazed by the power of his own imagination and how much control he had over his dreams. He started sleeping better and his nightmares disappeared. He thanked Lily and promised to always keep his dream safe. From that day on, the boy would visit Lily regularly, to tell her about his beautiful dreams, and how much they meant to him. And Lily was happy to know that she had helped him, and that her mission of protecting people's dreams was being fulfilled. Lily's story spread across the land, and many people came to her for help. She became known as the Dream Guardian, and her small business grew into a big enterprise. She dedicated her life to helping people create and protect their dreams, and she never forgot the importance of her own dream, the beautiful garden that had helped her defeat the Dream Weaver. The town of Millfield was forever changed, 
and it became a place where people could dream without fear, all thanks to the bravery and determination of one woman, who had the courage to stand up to the dream weaver and protect her own dreams.